Visiting. I come up. I come up to help take care of my grandkids. Our, our granddaughter was in for surgery. So where do you normally live? Angel Fire, New Mexico. So I live at a ski resort. I got snowshoes. I go. I walk my dog almost every day in in in, the, in snow. So. Top by house, right? Yeah. 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 So you get from Albuquerque back to uh, Fort Collins. It took 24 hours. Oh man. Okay. Oh. That's a beautiful area. Yeah, it is. Good fishing. So you said you had to hike up to get cell service? From the house, yeah. yeah. My daughter did. That's how she called. We should get just a little higher than the house and gets a clear spot apparently. She can, she can get a signal. You got something? We got the internet back up. We plugged it back into the generator. And once she gets the internet, she can get phone through the internet. But earlier today, we hadn't got it all hooked up yet, so. And you said you snowshoed down to the truck? Yeah, yeah. you did it. did it yesterday. Rich was stuck with his truck yesterday twice. And I snowshoed down, and I spent over four hours out here with him moving snow. It was a long walk back up yesterday. I'm almost 74, and it was like, man. <laughs> wow. This is, a, kept asking Rich, how many hills are there? He said, he said well, one. one. But there's nine steep places. <laughs> so I promised them when I got to their gate, I'd be able to make it on my own. Make it down. So I stopped about a yard short of it and said, I don't know. <laughs> Have you been to one of these before or seen one of these? 
no, not really like this because I've been in snow coaches at Banff or places like that. It was a lot similar, but but not so equipped. It's the first time I've ever been in one. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a few days in the regular hot room. Yeah, that's good. And some of the nurses checked on us. Said she looked, they looked at her chart and they looked at her and said, she looks way better than I would expect for her chart. It's all good. There you so go. I think she's doing, she's doing her. Is it hit done here? Yeah, it is. Done? Yeah. We turned the, it's a pretty good size hill. We turned yeah. the heater on so if it gets hot, you guys can turn it off. It's not bad when it's loud. What? Yeah. check that it's maybe that it's flowing uh, you're able to feel it I can't feel it but it's so I know can you hold it away from her so just so I don't blast her yep yeah it's flowing yeah so this morning we noticed the generator wasn't working to fill our oxygen tanks and realized we weren't gonna have enough oxygen to get it very, very far so we decided it was time to call and see if we could get to town where there's power since the baby needs oxygen. So luckily we get a cell phone signal behind our house. So we were able to climb up to a high spot to call and find some help. So now we're on our way to town so that the baby stays safe. So Lucy just had her heart fixed. And a lot of times babies that have heart defects don't do a good job eating. So she has a G-tube to feed her and we're hoping she'll learn to eat here in the next few months without that kind of food. She's still had a you know, supplement her. Yeah. You know. um, That's how this that was one a long was. time. It took a long time. Okay. Got her. Okay. Got her. 